Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of the Arctic tundra biome. Get ready to explore this chilly, yet captivating region of our planet. First off, let's talk about what a biome actually is. Think of it as a huge chunk of land characterized by its unique mix of plants and animals. It's like nature's way of organizing the world into different neighborhoods. And within each biome, you'll find many smaller ecosystems where living and non-living things interact. Now, let's zero in on the star of today's show, the Arctic tundra. This biome is the ultimate northern frontier, covering areas north of the Arctic Circle all the way up to the polar ice cap. It's a vast, dry, and rocky place where trees are few and far between. In fact, the word tundra comes from the Finnish word tunturi, which literally means treeless plain. One of the most distinctive features of the Arctic tundra is the permafrost. Imagine a layer of soil that's permanently frozen, starting just a meter below the surface. During the harsh winters, almost all the soil freezes solid. And even when summer rolls around, only the top layer thaws out while the permafrost below remains frozen. This icy foundation limits how deep plant roots can grow and is the main reason why trees can't survive here. Despite the lack of trees, the Arctic tundra is still considered a major carbon sink. That's because it's home to massive deposits of peat, decayed sphagnum moss, and humus, organic matter. These deposits store a ton of carbon, helping to regulate our planet's climate. Speaking of climate, the Arctic tundra is no tropical paradise. Temperatures can plummet to a bone-chilling minus 60 degrees Celsius in the winter and only climb to around 15.5 degrees Celsius in the summer. For 6 to 10 months of the year, the average temperature stays below freezing. And if you thought the days were short where you live, try spending a winter in the northernmost parts of this biome, you'll experience close to 24 hours of darkness. But it's not all doom and gloom. During the summer, the same region basks in the midnight sun, with nearly 24 hours of daylight. Just don't expect a lot of rain, the annual precipitation is only around 150 to 250 millimeters. Most of this moisture sticks around due to the low temperatures, and when the permafrost melts, it turns the soil into a soggy mess. So, what kind of plants and animals call this harsh environment home? Well, the vegetation here tends to be low-lying and hardy. Grasses, mosses, liverworts, and lichens are the tundra's unsung heroes. They've adapted to the short growing season by going dormant during the long winters and then kicking into high gear when summer arrives. There are a few woody plants that tough it out in the tundra, like the adorable dwarf willows. These pint-sized survivors stay low to the ground and spread out horizontally to avoid being battered by the relentless winds. When it comes to animals, the Arctic tundra boasts some seriously impressive residents. Picture majestic caribou, intimidating polar bears, cunning arctic foxes, and the mighty musk ox. These larger mammals share the tundra with smaller prey like lemmings and arctic hares. Many of these creatures have a nifty adaptation, they sport brown fur in the summer and white fur in the winter, allowing them to blend in with their surroundings and avoid becoming someone else's lunch. Birds also flock to the tundra during the summer breeding season. Loons, snow geese, and terns make the long journey to this northern haven to raise their young before heading back south for the winter. And get this, arctic terns have one of the most epic migrations in the animal kingdom. They fly from the arctic all the way to Antarctica and back again every year. While the arctic tundra may not be known for its insect diversity, the bugs that do live here make up for it in sheer numbers. Ever been swarmed by mosquitoes? Well, these blood-sucking pests thrive in the tundra, much to the annoyance of every other living creature. Now, you might think that humans haven't had much of an impact on this remote biome, but that's starting to change. As more people venture north to extract natural resources like oil, the delicate balance of the arctic tundra is being disrupted. And let's not forget about the looming threat of climate change. As global temperatures rise, the sea ice and permafrost are melting at an alarming rate. This not only alters the habitats of tundra plants and animals but can also destroy them completely. So, there you have it, a whirlwind tour of the Arctic tundra biome. From its unique landscape and extreme climate to its resilient flora and fauna, this biome is a testament to the incredible adaptability of life on Earth. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing biome content.